Guys, it is time to finally look at a brand new character. Now we have Chip and Dell, and they've actually updated WAC2. So for all of you who know about this, this is basically the site where you can go and look at all the new characters upcoming. I use this for quite a lot of my videos when I do my leaked videos. Most of the characters on this site are confirmed. So if you see them on here, they will be in the game. I've never had a situation where they haven't been. I'll be looking at Gadget tomorrow, guys. But for now, we're going to jump in and look at Chip and Dale. Now, I've had a lot of people, obviously, message me, Shy, Cookie Kermit, Legends. So we're going to jump in and look at Chip and Dale. So obviously, I believe these guys are from Chip and Dale. I think there's a TV show called Chip and Dale. Again, my Disney knowledge might annoy some of you. But let's have a look. Yeah. So there's loads of different things they've been in. Yeah. Cool. So they look pretty cool. Not going to lie. They do look pretty cool there. All the text is sort of glitched over them. But you can see that there, guys. They do look pretty cool. So rescue rangers away. Chippendale may be small, but these pint-sized heroes are more than the enemy bargained for. Yeah. So... They should be good. Let's jump in and take a look at their skills. Obviously, that's the most important thing. Like I said, the update on this is um, relatively good, actually. So, let me get my thoughts here, because I've got to try and read about making myself look like an idiot. Chipmunk Cheer. So, this is their main active skill, which also you choose to activate. Chip and Dale cheer on their allies, granting them X amount of bonus damage on their basic... Hmm... Now, immediately, I'm not particularly keen on the fact that it's only for three seconds. That probably generally makes that one of the worst specials I've ever seen in the game. Now, I do say that. That is a lot of... That's half a million. So, half a billion basic damage increase. It's obviously quite good. But basic attacks... Obviously aren't going to be skills, so it'll be their normal moves. So I, I, I guess when Kermit strums his guitar, it would give, it, give everybody half a billion more health. So... I, I don't know about that. Immediately I'm quite thrown off by that. Um, I don't think that's very good at all. But again guys, I always like to hear your opinions on each of the skills. So please do leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. And make sure you smash that like button as well. So, first impressions, not, not particularly impressed. Could be a lot better. Don't know. But we'll give them, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. It's one move. Fast fly. Chip and Dale slingshot zipper at the closest enemy. Now I don't know who Zipper is. Presumably this is a smaller version of Chip and Dale. Oh, it's, it's a little fly. Okay. So Chip and Dale's a little fly. Oh, that's going to be cool. That's going to be a cool move. So, let me. So, they fire the little zipper character at the closest enemy, dealing X amount of normal damage and stunning for four seconds. So, again, quite underwhelming compared to most of the new characters that have been released recently. Again, they might change these bits, guys, but from what I've seen, they never do tend to change these. This is normally quite de definite. But yeah, so we've got stunning for four seconds. And doing normal damage. Again, not impressed with the second move, which is not looking good. We still got two to go. Ranger plane. At, ah, okay, here we go. At the beginning of each wave, Chip and Dale dive bomb their enemies with their plane. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of damage. Dealing normal damage to all enemies. While flying by, they drop a supply crate that energizes them and their allies for five seconds. Units energized by this skill gain 50 bonus energy okay that hands down is one of the most ridiculous moves in the game so imagine you had a team with kermit and ian on or all, all maxed out and you had chip and dale on at the beginning of the wave they're going to slam down which is going to do a ridiculous amount of damage and then the supply crate will hit everybody and then you could use kermit's special straight away to put all the buffs on everybody and you could get Ian's lightning out straight away 
or you could almost get Mulan's rockets out straight away. So what we're seeing there is nearly an entire, nearly your entire team gaining their special move, which is very, very good. So I do like that. I feel like that has potentially redeemed a couple of his other kind of rubbishy moves. But yeah, I like that. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, you can only use that once per wave, but you know, that's enough. That's enough to kill. I mean, that's a lot of damage. A lot of damage. So, purple skill. At the beginning of each wave, Chip and Dale gain 90 energy. Allies affected by Chipmunk Cheer, which is this one. Oh, okay. This, this is going to redeem everything. Chipmunk Cheer heal her basic attack for duration of the skill. Good. Because I was not impressed by his basic attack at all. Now this makes him a very, very overpowered healer. Because what we're seeing here... It, I was, why is that? Oh, I didn't realize that Disney everyone. I wonder what that sound was. What we're seeing here, guys, is he's going to go three seconds. They're going to do a gajillion more basic damage. And every hit they take, they heal. So that's basically going to get everybody to max health each time he uses a special. Now, I kind of think that this should have been implemented into here anyway, and then they could have had a sl slightly separate move in here. So obviously there's, there's two of them, right? So we could have seen something cool, like maybe they split up into two separate characters, or I don't know, something like that, something a little bit more exciting, something a little bit different. There's nothing particularly new about this character which stands out to me. There's nothing particularly that uh, makes me want to go, oh, let's, let's go and get them right now. They're just a, a kind of uh, above average healer. I'm not telling you not to unlock them, guys, because their heal's going to be phenomenal. But yeah, they're just above average, in my opinion. I'd still... Hmm... trying to think i'm still i still personally say if i go into my characters here right and we filter it by people who heal um how oh, can you not do that well okay well that's a shame i thought you might be able to um um heal okay sorry heal team heal team over time so just heal team right so we're going to search that now, what what you need to do whenever they release a new character, and this is something I'm going to start to do when I do these leaked videos, is actually compare them. Because we can't say Chippendale's awful if I don't give you a comparison to why. So, immediately I've noticed that for some reason they have not included Clawhouse in this lineup. So, I would immediately say that Clawhouse is a better version of Chippendale with his special that heals everybody. So... And, he, and plus he's a tank and he's basically useful for every mode so immediately I have the issue where there's no point of upgrading Chippendale because Clawhouse is miles better I'd also say Fairy Godmother's a better version of Chippendale just because she's got the awesome unique thing where she only appears in when someone needs healing so you don't particularly have to worry about Fairy Godmother's health and then I really love her pumpkin transformation. It's basically a better version of their stun move here, guys. So what I mean by that is we've got here, right, on the case. Sorry, range of... Do you know where, where was it? Fast fly. Chippendale slingshot zipper at the closest enemy, dealing normal damage and stun for four seconds. Now, that stuns one enemy and deals normal damage to one enemy. This one falls down and basically hits everybody doing a huge amount of damage and, and stunning them for 4 seconds. So immediately, we've got a better version of that move on Fairy Godmother. And then obviously, armor, which Chippendale don't do. So just comparing those, those odd moves there, guys, I'm really not blown away by Chippendale. Now, most of the time I say that, you guys, you guys get annoyed at me and go, no, no, they're the best character ever. Guys, I encourage comments. I want to hear what you think. I want to know why you think they're better. 
so please do let me know give me your review of chip and Dale. maybe we'll do it like this review the character out of 10 guys and then i can find the average and i'll pick it up in a couple of videos time and we'll see tomorrow i'll jump in and speak about gadget hopefully she presumably from rescue rangers as well will pick this up because i'm not impressed by chip and Dale, unfortunately but guys you're all absolute beauties smash that like and subscribe button and i'll see you all in the next one oh what well, i didn't do actually is look at the friendship missions so and this redeem them can this change my rating so allies affected by chipmunk cheer deal more bonus damage with the basic attacks not particularly great chip and dale gain 450 energy when an ally carries an enemy so that's really nice so that just means whenever because they're never going to particularly kill an enemy chip and dale can gain energy this way once every two seconds so that's quite nice because what that means is that you could properly go special 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 like that and keep everybody health and and in a constant damage buff so quite i do quite like that and this one here ranger plane which is my favorite move deals more damage which is mental skill free one two three which is range of plane why is or it means on the hang on I, I think that's just gone weird yeah so range of plane deals normal damage range of plane it's 125 percent chance 125 percent chance but the, i think that's broken because that just means that it basically is a guaranteed chance to stun and sap enemies hit for 10 seconds. That's not what. What? Right. <laughs> oh god, that's not right. To stun the entire team for 10 seconds at the start of each wave 10 seconds well i mean that immediately changes my opinion on chip that move alone is basically the one reason you need him i hope that's broken and it should say 25 percent chance because then i feel like that's kind of more acceptable but anyway guys <laughs> hope you've enjoyed today's video do smash that like subscribe button and i'll see you legends in the next one.